hey welcome or welcome back to the channel i'm chantelle so if you've been with me for a little while you know that i moved to bali a few months ago and i've been slowly doing up the villa that we're living in but this video will be restyling redecorating the dining area the intention for the villa was to create a space that really felt like us that we could put our stamp on and you know that felt like home and i'm really happy that it's really starting to feel like that now anyway there's lots to cover today so let's get into it if you haven't done already please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell for new video releases all right so this is what the ground floor of the villa looked like after i got them to remove all of that art there there was a lot of it. So it's a good size space, but it was really just bland and not my style at all. So the first thing that I did was to get a painter in and I decided I was gonna keep the walls really light, but I really wanted to add a dark accent wall. Hello. <laughs> this is how we communicate. With neither of us speaking the same language, let's just say Google Translate was a saviour. <laughs> yeah. Once we had a good understanding of each other and we're on the same page, I decided on the colour that I wanted and I've gone for this dark colour. It's not quite black, but it's very dark, like charcoal. I also decided that I wanted to section off um, a portion of the wall. So you'll see that there's a section that is still white and that is just to break it up a little bit and just to do something a little bit different. That's gonna be like the picture rail, that section there. That's really all there is to it for the decorating side of things, really keeping it simple. So the next phase is to go shopping. I want a nice kind of jute rug to sit under the dining table and this store here has so many nice pieces. I decide on this really big piece that's going to fit perfectly under my dining table <laughs> when I eventually get it. How are you? And this is the store where I'm getting my custom made live edge table from. Trust me, I am beyond excited about this. It's something that I've always wanted and I can't wait to get it. So these are the guys working on timber. I don't think this is actually my piece, but just showing you the process. Okay, so next up, I'm looking for seating and I decide that instead of just having all chairs, I wanna mix it up. So I wanna have a bench on one side and seats on the other. And this store has these really cool benches with these carved out bits for your bum. <laughs> I'm also looking for some little pots and decor items. I'm going to buy a shelf, which is gonna be like a screen between the dining area and a little office space. So I'm just looking for some little bits and pieces to be able to put on the shelf. So this is the warehouse of a pottery store. And then this is another store which has some traditional Balinese decor. There's just so many cute little things in this store. I end up buying a couple of things. And as you can see, I'm feeling very pleased with myself. <laughs> All right, so next up, I head to Kim Sue. I'm looking for some lights and also some other little bits for my shelf which might catch my eye. Kim Sue is a great store for just different kind of things that you don't see. Sometimes Bali shops are very similar, but you'll always find something different in Kim Sue. I couldn't decide which of the lamps were better to go with the black or the white, so I ended up buying both of them. And then the last, well, one of the last things to do was to decide on a piece of art. So again, I'm going for a Giovanni photography piece, but I'm gonna show you that at the end. And also, a room cannot be complete to me without the addition of some plants. 
So I found this really beautiful store and um, the guy is just helping me pick up a couple of pieces to showcase the room. Okay, so the day arrives for my beautiful live edge table to run. But, you know, obviously there's issues getting it through this gate. <laughs> there's always issues with deliveries and there's always these guys turning up with their thongs as well. I'm always scared that it's going to drop on their feet or something. But they get it in. Um, so once it's in, they put the legs on, the frame on, and then they just give it a touch up before it comes into the house. The thing with this furniture is it's beautiful, you know, having these really solid pieces, but my goodness, they are so heavy. <laughs> Once it's in, we take a minute to make sure it's exactly where I want it to be because moving this thing is no joke. So, yeah. We spent a little time there, but I got it exactly where I wanted to be and I was so happy with it. <laughs> Always wanted a language table and this is beyond my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> All right, so then we have some more furniture coming up. I have this occasional chair that's gonna sit at the back where my desk is, but again, these gates are just make everything so hard to get in. These poor guys, I feel so sorry for them because this chair probably weighs more than the table itself. Anyway, this time they come prepared um, with you know fancy equipment as you can see <laughs> here. This piece of wood that's you know we laugh about it, but it's really helping them to get it through. But that said, this still takes about 15 minutes just at this stage. And then it's probably another 15 minutes to get it from the gate into the house. I always love to put my little stamp on things. And so when these pots arrived, which I bought, I just wanted to give them a bit of colour. I've been using this colour, um, which is just an acrylic paint throughout downstairs. I've used it on another paint part and I just wanted to bring the whole, the two spaces together. So I just quickly paint them and I just think it's just gonna really align the place. And it makes me feel better because I'm happiest when I'm painting something. So this is the shelf that I was referring to. And the space that I'm standing in now is going to be like my little office area. I just wanted to have a discrete divider which provided a little bit of separation but you know still feeling that I was connected to the room but um, that was living and purposeful as well. Okay so a quick reminder of the room before and after totally transformed. The addition of the artwork, I guess, is such a big, powerful wow factor in the room. The pieces are just stunning and I feel so privileged, so happy that I own them. This woman and boy are from the Hema tribe in Ethiopia and their culture is so rich and I'd really love to understand a lot more about it. Okay, but now can we just take a minute and <laughs> take in the beauty of this table? Oh my gosh. I love it, love it, love it. And also this bench, which was made for me, um, which is a perfect fit for this table as well. The timber is just beautiful and I'm all for that live edge. And these are the chairs that we've got for the other side. So I really just like that it's quirky and it's not all the same, but it aligns and matches perfectly. 
so this is kind of a view of the room into the living space and I really think there's a nice flow now. I'm strategically leaving the kitchen out of the shop because that will be the next thing that I need to do. But hey, let's just think about the beauty here. <laughs> And this is the shelf. I just got some really nice pieces. I'll probably add to, I really need some more books. I left a lot of them in Australia. And I'll probably add to this shelf, you know, as I go. But th those are things that you do in time as you see pieces. I don't want to rush um, and just fill it up with things just for the sake of it. But for now, um, it's looking cute. And then towards the back of the room, I've carved out a little space just to have as a little office area. I don't really want to be working from the dining table, so I have a small desk, but I also didn't want it to be like fully exposed, so the shelf really like screens that. And while we are in the office, it's timely for me to remind you of the fact that I do offer virtual interior design services for both interior and exterior spaces. So as part of our e-design package, you get a consultation, help with developing a design concept, mood boards, spatial planning, 3D renders, sourcing and support with implementation. If that sounds like something that might be of interest to you, then you can contact me using one of the links in the description. All right, so that's about it for today. I am loving this space, I'm loving how it feels, and the downstairs, the ground floor of the villa is almost done. Like I said, I really just need to do the kitchen and then the ground floor is completely done. All right, I'd love to know what you think of this space. So as always, drop a comment in the comments below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And until next time, catch you soon.